Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what I believe to be the quickest way to bounce multi-tracks from drum machine designer instruments, as well as drum kit designer producer kits. So let's start off with drum machine designer here. Now, if you're not aware, when you load a drum machine designer kit, it actually loads drum machine designer and all of its associated channels into a track stack. So if you wanted to, you could very well just mix things here in the folder. But if you're like me and you prefer to have everything rendered uh, down to audio, what I used to do is I used to print each one of these down to new audio tracks or I'd bounce them out of Logic then drag and drop them back in. Uh, but a few people actually reached out to me in another tutorial and said to me, Josh, you're doing this the slow way. Uh, and yeah, I am doing this the slow way. Uh, so I wanna show you the quick way in this video. So um, it's very simple. All you gotta do is you open up your drum machine designer track stack, hold shift and select the top and then the bottom channel here in the tracks area for drum machine designer. And then all you have to do is set the end point for the bounce. We're gonna do a bounce in place. So you're gonna have to adjust the end point of your song. If the end point of the song is way over here, you're gonna get a bunch of silence on the end of the bounce. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that back in a bit. So once you've done that and you've selected all the tracks, you just go up to file and then you go to bounce and then you select tracks in place or you can press control command B. And then you can bounce these to new tracks or you can replace tracks. I'm gonna go ahead and just replace tracks. You can choose to bypass or include effects plugins. You can choose to include volume and uh, pan automation. You can also choose to uh, apply overload protection. On this particular one, I'm gonna normalize because I want all of these to be as loud as possible. And then I'll just click okay. And you just give it a second and it's going to bounce all of those selected tracks in place uh, as audio. The, they'll all end up being stereo audio files. And there we go. And the great thing about this is what it does is it only bounces the tracks that actually are receiving audio. So some of these tracks aren't being used at all for these drum patterns, so there's no need to bounce them. So it doesn't waste, uh, you know, you're not wasting a bunch of channels here. And then you can drag these down to new audio tracks, or you can just take them out of the stack. You can do whatever you want with them. Now you can also do this with Drum Kit Designer, as long as you're using one of the producer kits. So normally, if you load up Drum Kit Designer, you're just loading it up as a single channel. And yeah, you can load this up in multi-output, but that's only gonna give you like five channels. Instead, what you can do is select the track, go into your library, go to drum kit, and look at the name of the preset that you've selected. So this is the heavy preset. Then go down to the bottom, go to producer kits, and find the heavy plus preset, or whatever preset you're using. So I'll select heavy plus. And now our drum kit designer instrument is going to be broken up into uh, multiple aux channels within a track stack, just like we did, uh, just like we were doing with Drum Machine Designer. So now all I have to do is select all of the channels inside of that track stack. And once again, uh, I'm just going to pull out the end point there a little bit. Once again, we go up to File, Bounce, Tracks in Place. This time it's going to force us to put these on new tracks. I'm not 100% sure why, but that's fine. I'll click OK. We'll give that a moment to bounce. OK, and there you go. You can see it's bounced each one of these to individual audio files. And so now I have multi-tracks for my acoustic kit as well. And again, it skips channels that aren't used. So the, the tambourine shaker and hand claps weren't used for this kit. So now I can just take all of these multi-tracks, maybe uh, add them to a different track stack for the acoustic drums and I can mix them uh, as audio rather than dealing with the MIDI data. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.